Thank you, Mike. Well, today on social media, we kicked the show off with some margaritas. So we want to know, how do you like yours? Blended or on the rocks, traditional lime, or another flavor? I mean, some, sometimes torn. Sometimes I like salt. Sometimes I don't. Jumbo. Join us on Facebook hey, at Morning big. Blend Omaha. We're also on Twitter at OMA Morning Blend. That's my answer. Jumbo. Uh, you don't need to wear a badge to be a hero. That's the idea behind a series of blood drives that are coming up on Monday. You also don't need that badge to save lives. No, April Oppliger is with the Red Cross here, and along with Roger Cox from the Bellevue Police Department. Good to see both of you. Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. So what's the idea behind these blood drives? I know you're doing blood drives throughout the year, but these are a little different. These are. This is an opportunity for the community to come out and support first responders who see the need for blood firsthand. And it's an opportunity for them to join forces with them and help save lives. This is something you've been doing for years. Roger, why did you guys want to get behind this cause and what do you like about the event? Um, as first responders, just like April said, the need for blood is constant. And uh, first responders see that every day on their job. So. We just want to get back to the community and by hosting one of these protect, serve, and save events, it gives us plenty of opportunity to make sure we can uh, make sure that blood's available for the Red Cross and yeah. the people that need it. Yeah, so a lot of people are going to be coming to donate, and then I know you're probably going to donate, and then some of your colleagues with the police department, some of the civilian employees, as well as some of the officers, too, they're going to get involved. Absolutely. We'll have a plethora of people there to donate. So you'll see a lot of firemen, hopefully a lot of police officers, and then hopefully we'll, the community will get behind it, too, and uh, step up and donate a lot of blood. So did this used to be a competition between police and fire? It did. It started it did. out as a competition and it's grown to something where we've joined forces but I, I imagine there's still a little bit of rivalry. Oh, well, yeah that, that's <laughs> what I was getting at there. So you know, come to one of the police uh, stations is probably what Roger's thinking but of course you can donate at a bunch of different fire departments as well. Yeah when people come to this blood drive what should they expect? How, what's the process? You know, it's, a, it's much like any other blood donation. Um, so you're going to register, then we um, have you do a mini physical, a confidential health history assessment. Shortest part of the whole thing is actually the blood donation itself. And then we're going to feed you. So, uh, you know, in that hour, you can help save a life. If, if you're going to feed us. Right? Is that what you said? I, I did say that. You I always go for the us. cookies. What do you mean? <laughs> We've got Oreos. Keebler goodies, of course. We've got uh, juice. So we're going to make it worth your while. And these get started on Monday? They do. So um, most of the blood drives are happening next week. Mm -hmm. However, the final one um, in Bellevue is on May 21st. So you've got almost a full month of opportunity to, to sign up. We're going to show you some of the locations and times on the screen. Of course, you can also find those online at what website? Redcrossblood.org. And to search for these, uh, use the keyword SAVE2014. Yeah, and the first one was on Cinco de Mayo, that May 5th, and then they're running through the rest of them here on the screen. But uh, uh, is there any special need right now, April? I guess, what are you looking for? You know, um, as we are heading toward the summer months, we know that blood donations tend to decline. And so we are looking for people to help us boost up the blood supply before, you know, the official start to summer. And uh, we're looking for donors of all types, but especially O negative, A negative, B negative, and O positive. I know. She's given me the look. What do you have? What, what are you I'm doing? O positive. Okay. So well, I'm A positive. I'm not in that group, but I should still get in and donate. We still want you to come yeah, out and lend an arm. Be. Yeah, here, the Red Cross Blood, is that the, the website they should go to? Red, yes, redcrossblood.org, Red um, keyword save 2014. And will you take walk-ins or is it best to sign up and get an appointment? While we would love to have everyone make an appointment beforehand, we know that sometimes, you know, schedules don't allow that and you may just have an open hour in your day. So please, uh, if you are available, come out and join us. Walk-ins are definitely welcome. Roger, are the police going to beat the fire department this year? Not that it's a competition. It's not a competition, it's not a competition. Kayla. <laughs> not that it's a competition, but when you come in, I hear there's going to be life savers and there's going to be two buckets, one for fire, one for police. <laughs> so, uh -huh. if so I can persuade you, drop right. your lifesaver in the police right. bucket. Right. So they're going to have to make a choice. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks. You're thanks for coming. On. Again, Red at redcrossblood.org is a website that people can go to. It starts Monday. All the donation drive. Thanks Thank for coming, you both guys. Very much. Thank, Thank you. It. All right, our picture of the day celebrates the return of the sun. Yeah. Plus a field trip outside the studio on Monday. Find out where we're going to be.